In this problem, we're told that Greta wants to make five pounds of a nut mix using peanuts and cashews. Her budget requires the mixture to cost her $6 per pound. Peanuts are $4 per pound, and cashews are $9 per pound. And we're asked how many pounds of peanuts and how many pounds of cashews should she use? So I've set up this table here. The number of pounds times the value of each pound equals the total value. So with peanuts, let's make the number of pounds P. So let P equal the number, or the number of pounds of peanuts. The value, we're told, is $4 per pound. So the total value is $4 per pound times P, the number of pounds of peanuts. With cashews, let's let C equal the number of pounds of cashews. We're told that value is $9 per pound. So the total value is going to be 9 times the number of pounds of cashews, which is C. Now she wants 5 pounds of nut mix total. So we know that this is going to be 5. And we know that the value per pound she has to have at $6 per pound. And therefore, the total value is going to be $30. $6 per pound times 5 pounds. So what system of equations can we set up from this? Well, we know the number of pounds of peanuts plus the number of pounds of cashews is going to be 5 pounds. So P plus C equals 5. And we also know the total cost is going to be $30, and that's a combination of $4 per pound times the number of pounds of peanuts plus $9 per pound times the number of pounds of cashews. So we know 4P plus 9C equals 30. So there is our system of equations. P plus C equals 5. And 4P plus 9C equals 30. So let's use elimination in this case. We could solve for P or solve for C, but uh, since they're already in this form, what can we multiply our first equation by to eliminate one of the variables? Let's go ahead and eliminate P, which means we will multiply our first equation by negative 4. And that's because we have 4p in our second equation. So what that gives us, distributing the negative 4, we have negative 4p plus negative 4c. So I'm just going to go ahead and make that a minus. Minus 4c equals 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. And we still have 4p plus 9c equals 30. Now we can just add the two equations to eliminate p. So negative 4p plus 4p, those cancel. Negative 4c plus 5c, or plus 9c is 5c. And then negative 20 plus 30 is 10. And then dividing both sides by 5, we get c equals 2 pounds of cashews. So now we substitute C equals 2 pounds. You can use one or the other equation. I'm going to use both. So again, we started with P plus C equals 5. So P plus C equals 5. We'll substitute C equals 2. So P plus 2 equals 5. Subtract 2 from both sides, and we get P equals three pounds. Let's go ahead and use our other equations. Well, 4p plus 9c equals 30. So 4p plus 9 times 2, c equals 2, equals 30. So 4p plus 18 equals 30. Subtract 18 from both sides, we get 4p equals 12. 
divide both sides by 4 and we get P equals 3 pounds. So before we check, so far we have found that Greta should use 3 pounds of peanuts and 2 pounds of cashews. So now we'll go ahead and check. So we have P plus C equals 5. So we want to know does 3 plus 2 equal 5? And indeed it does. 5 equals 5. So it checks in our first equation. And then we have 4P plus 9C equals 30. So we want to know does 4 times 3 plus 9 times 2 equal 30. That's 12 plus 18. And it checks because 12 plus 18 is 30. So 30 equals 30. And we can definitively say Greta should use 3 pounds of peanuts and 2 pounds of cashews.